Hi, this is Pastor Eric here, and I want to take the opportunity to thank you for your interest in being part of the prayer team. If you knew in the team, it will be a good opportunity to understand the functionality of this team. If you're not new, it will be a good reminder of how we do things here at Bethel Full Gospel. The prayer team is a really important team in Bethel Full Gospel. When people come to the altar looking for a touch from God, a word from God, they're really open, they're really burnable. And it's our job to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit to be sensitive of what God is doing in their lives. So how can we do this in the best way possible? Let's start from the beginning. When the pastor called the altar workers or the prayer team, this is our clue that we have to go out front and pray for the people. So when people come to the altar, remember that we have a big altar, a big area. So make sure that you are spread out so you can cover all the areas of the church and the people that are coming to the altar. Now. Let's talk about some instruction at the moment that we're praying for people. The first step will be introduce yourself. It's good that you introduce yourself when you're praying for somebody. And also introduce yourself. Say, my name is. By doing this, it shows that you're caring about them and you're giving the full attention in that moment. Number two, ask, how can I pray for you? We have to be specific for the prayer. Also, remember that this is not a counseling session. A, to be honest, I'm guilty about that. I like to talk to people, but it's not the time to engage, it's the time to pray. Remember, be specific, be available, relevant, and also intentional in the moment that you're praying. Number three, watch and pray. Yeah, you hear well. We have to be aware of what's going on in your surroundings. Also, if you're praying for several people, remember that we need to manage our time for prayer. Now, if it's only one person, take your time. Pray for that person and just try to hear from God at the moment of your prayer. Number four, send us a quick email. As a church, we want to keep track of the prayer requests and also a victory that probably this person had. Send us the email with the name or any prayer request that we have to keep praying for that person. Number five, what happens if somebody wanna pray alone at the altar? This has been a really good question that people ask us. And the answer is really simple, nothing. If they wanna pray alone, please let them do it. Remember that we have to be respectful with that person, but if the Holy Spirit says something, pray for them because you're there in that moment. Thank you so much again for being part of the team, of the prayer team. We're really excited to see what God will do through you and also in your life because you're serving a powerful and almighty God. Thank you.